My first alert forecast. And Caleb is in for Matt tonight, and it's the season, construction season, but also when weather really becomes a factor. Oh, yeah, yeah. all the rain. It, it just seems like a never endless barrage, <laughs> does, right? I guess yeah. the good news is I've got a swimming pool in my backyard that I've always wanted, so. Um, oh, there's something. Well, it'll it'll go away, but side. you know. I'm that, happy for you. That, that's how the rain works around here in the spring, right? We get a lot of it, yeah. and then it goes away, and we mm -hmm. get more, more. so. Mm -hmm. Tis the season, like Tis you the mentioned. Mm -hmm. The good news is right now we're dry, but a lot of cloudy conditions out there. Taking a live look over Fort Wayne. Temperature currently sitting at 49 out at the airport and reporting cloudy conditions. And like I mentioned, the rain really has piled up over the last 24 hours. You can see basically from west to east, right through the heart of the viewing area. Lots of places saw one to one and a half, maybe upwards of two inches of rainfall. And there was one spot in southeastern Allen County that saw a little bit over two and a half inches. Or actually, there was a water rescue this morning performed by volunteer firefighters out there. So just a reminder, if you come across roadways that are flooded, turn around, don't drown, find another way. The rain is mostly done this evening, though. A few isolated rain showers up near Huntertown, stretching over into Paulding, Ohio. But you see most of 21 country is dry. We've got to take a big step back to actually see the full picture of what's to come over the next 48 to 72 hours. This is stationary front right here, basically along the Ohio River, is going to be the focus of most of the rainfall over the next 48 hours. But the tail end of this system is going to start to swing to the northeast, and that's what's going to impact us as we get into the first day of the weekend. So we're watching Friday night into Saturday for our next large scale weather system. What will it bring? Well, possibly in half an inch to upwards of an inch, maybe an inch and a half of additional rainfall some strong winds and slightly cooler air. So who could see the heaviest of the rain? Well, to the north of Fort Wayne, we're expecting about half an inch to an inch of additional rain, but down into Jay County and the Southern Adams County, we're talking possibly one and a half to two inches of additional rainfall. And this says over the next seven days, really it's going to be over the next three days because that's when the focus of our rain is going to be. The good news is for us, the flooding risk is relatively low but if you've got family and friends off in southern Indiana and southern Illinois, they could be dealing with a very uh, high flooding situation as we get into the weekend. Those are the areas that could see upwards of three, four, maybe even five inches of rain from this system. So let's time out the rain chances for you over the next 48 to 72 hours. Maybe a few isolated rain showers still this evening. So if you've got plans, maybe take the umbrella with you. We should be mostly dry for a good chunk of the day on a Friday. A few isolated rain showers possible to the south of Fort Wayne. And then here comes that widespread rain overnight Friday into Saturday morning. You see one or two pops of orange on the map there. That's a little bit more moderate rain shower action. But then the rain becoming a little bit more scattered as we get into Saturday morning and then less scattered, more isolated as we get into the afternoon. But here comes that colder air back behind that system. But then we'll have a dry Sunday. Winds on Saturday, gusting upwards of 40 to 45 miles per hour at times. So don't be surprised if we're talking wind advisories for Saturday for this time tomorrow. And here's those temperatures. You can see getting up into the mid 40s with those feels like temperatures in the 30s for your Friday afternoon. And then we'll see a surge of warm air on Saturday morning. You can see temperatures in the mid to low 50s. But then in the afternoon on Saturday, those temperatures falling down into the 30s. So Sunday looking pretty good, mostly sunny conditions, a high of 52. Our next chance for rain after that coming on